Has the closet door in your RV ever jumped the track? Today we're gonna fix it. That's what I'm fixing to show ya. Hey y'all, I'm Cole and this is Younger Every Day. So basically we bought a fifth wheel, sold all our stuff in Texas, packed up the kids and the dog and headed west. Now I'm going to school and we're loving this crazy life. On this channel we do product reviews, take you on amazing adventures and share tips and tricks for RV living just like this one. Welcome to Fix It Friday. Today I want to share what happened when the closet rod jumped while we were traveling, launching our clothes into the closet door. If you haven't seen that video, you can click right up here to check it out. When it did that, it hit the door so hard that it knocked it off the track. Now the first time that happened, it only knocked one of the two things that hold it in the track out. But the second time, it knocked the second one. And so now the bottom of the closet door is just loose and I've decided it's finally time to fix it. So let's see if we can get it straightened out today. So basically this thing latches into the track here. The problem now is I cannot get in there with enough force to push on top of that to snap it back into place. So I'm going to try to use two screwdrivers to see if I can force these little jaws to snap back in there. And does it have to go like one on either side of it or what? No, they snap into the middle of it. Oh. Ooh, I think I got it. Oh yes, I got it. I just used the screwdriver to push that tab in. It snapped into place. Let's try the same thing over here. Okay, so I'm going to try to snap this back into place by pushing on this back tab, the middle tab on the opposite side. Got it. Nice. It's so nice that the door stays in the track now. All right, so that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna have to unscrew that screw, pull the bracket off, figure out a way to force that kind of snap and lock track piece into the track and then reattach it to the door. Instead, all I had to do was get it in the right position and use a flathead screwdriver to push the opposing, like it has two little hooks and one, I just had to push this one in to let them snap in place and that worked. So I just used a flathead screwdriver to take care of the job and it took way less time than I thought, which means I shouldn't have been procrastinating this because it wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it up to be in my head. Now I wanna know, has your closet door ever jumped the tracks in your RV? If so, what'd you do about it? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that it helps you out in case your closet door ever jumps the track or maybe if it already has. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and let us know you liked it. And don't forget to click subscribe and join the younger gang. Also, I hope you'll check out some of our other videos right over here. So, having one problem, the closet rod jumping out of place, escalate into a second problem, launching the clothes into the door and making it jump the tracks, and then figuring out how to fix the second problem before we even have a clue about the first. That's just another way we're living younger every day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.